What's up guys, Matt here. Uh, as you can see, we got a laptop, a Dell machine that was booked by Dell. Um, well, the lady sent it to Dell and she they quoted her 18,000 Rand to fix it. When I put in the charger, as you can see, when I plug in, can you see? I plug in, as soon as I plug in, it switches off. So obviously, we have a short somewhere. Uh, maybe one of the main power rails. We will dive into this and try to figure out what's going on. Okay, guys, as we can see, it is drawing four amps of current. Even though it's set to, it's obviously drawn, dropped down to one amp, one volt instead of 19. And it's drawing four amps of current. Is anything getting hot on the board? It's like stone cold. A little bit of heat over here. On this side, we need to do some measurements to see what's going on. So, let's see. Why... In theory, this should be positive, and this should be ground. positive over here and we have our ground over here ground positive neutral now oh, there's this cap over here I don't know if this looks like a cap to me I don't know if it's a fuse let's see direct short maybe when we put to power oh we're getting a one amp short and it's pulling 4.2 amps let's go ahead I think and just to be on the safe side mark this dude off completely remove that oak and see if we get a different outcome because in theory this if it's a cap is shorted it's going from our positive which is over here to positive over here which is ground over there okay that should not be a fuse so let's see let's go ahead and remove this like We'll just put this like some one side. Just put this like the first I wanna do is let's see if this oak is short. Look at that. This oak appears to be short. So, in theory, this should be a working laptop. Put that one side. Plug him in. And our voltage is changed to 20 volts GPU so 
also on our DC power supply. Let me just try to figure out a way to show you guys. Now we're getting 20 volts and not our yeah, weird voltage volts, that we were getting previously. We were getting previously. Um, I think it's safe to say that we can plug in our, we can turn on our machine, put this back into the casing and see, maybe it's going to work. I'll be back just in a second. Bro, this is taking me longer to fit a replacement capacitor than it is to fix the machine. Solid. And we're done. Okay, guys, so hopefully it's going to work. The machine's assembled. And let's plug in to power. And let's put power, I guess. Oh, I have to plug in the IO whatever board. I guess that's where the power is. We 
Keep is getting slightly warm. Oh, dead. One amp? Well, where's it going? So let's see. Do we put CMOS battery in board? IO board. We're now pulling the right amount of current for this thing to even come on. Push power. Yeah, it should be really getting on. This machine should be turning on. Unless we got some more shorts. Well, when I press it, it's pulling the right current. I think it has to, the battery has to be enabled for the thing to turn on. Okay, so let's do like this. Plug our battery in. In some machines. Give it some time to wake up. One amp. It's charged now. It's charging current, which is right, but still dead. Hey, we got a light on the charger. Which is a good thing. Before we were getting no light whatsoever. Hmm. Let's just leave it for a bit. Oh, we're getting no light now. At least we're getting. Hmm. Okay. There we have a light on the charger over here. It's pulling two amps of current now. Two amps, which is charging. There we go. Hey, 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 hey. There we go, guys. Laptop. Laptop is fixed. Dell quoted them 18,000 rand or 8 grand. Yeah, like a lot of money, like ridiculous. There we can, there we see. It is now, it is now sorted and fixed, which is incredible. And the differential factor was one little capacitor that was creating shit on the main line. I will replace that capacitor. Uh, just to ensure that the smoothness is effectively fixed, you know. Because I know you guys will say and ask me a million one questions. Why didn't you put the cap back? But the cap's not really necessary. It will help. But as you can saw, that cap just decided to die. And then we were having shit. So laptop is fixed, which is incredible. Customer will be very happy. Um... You see, from like, I think, realistically, 18, she said 8 grand or 18 grand, I don't, I'm not sure. I think we'll charge her around about like 1,800 to 2,200 for the repair. Uh, I think that seems to be a fair price for this kind of issue. Even though, um, yeah, guys. So, this is just a quick laptop, this is just a quick laptop video on how to fix uh, just the quick quick shorted main power line when you do see what I'm showing you in the video where you plug in the charger and it doesn't do anything you know that it's the main 19 volt power line that's shorted in this situation I, I took out the board I could see that the MOSFETs weren't even get the, getting 19 volts so I had to look previous to that and we figured out that just the cap directly on the DC power was getting short I removed the capacitor it's now working I uh, hope you guys like the video, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll check in the next repair. Peace.
as we can see it is now booted into windows and there's charging with full functionality yeah cool